have an accidental architect. Before uh, going for architectural studies, I was a graduate in chemistry and I was working in a chemical industry. For almost a year I worked. That's the time I got into IIT through JE exam and my only choice was chemical engineering. Just because I didn't get chemical engineering and in the interview I was asked if I could sketch, maybe I could study architecture. So I opted for architecture uh, thinking that I could switch over the department. If Fortunately, there was a seat vacant also after one semester and I had done well in studies and I applied to change the department to chemical but my head of the department didn't leave me. So happened that I was topper in that semester. So he didn't allow me to leave the department and I got stuck to architecture. That's how it happened. See, if we continue to look at even use of materials, we always look in terms of the, its aesthetic appeal. Each building material has got certain physical and chemical property. We are not looking at these materials. So that's where my the science background, I keep questioning that. Because we don't use that as a building science, a material and its application in the building science. How materials can uh, control heat. So we don't do any, we never learn the the properties of materials and you know the, just the mere relationship between thickness of a material and the actual chemical physical content of the material and how it, it can control heat the science is not taught we just... today with science and technology when we have so much of uh, possibility of testing materials uh, and coming to very very what you call uh, mm, very good conclusions about what we can achieve with these materials. Plus this digital world where we can create uh, virtual models and even do virtual simulation. We can even today, everything using, uh, you know, softwares like Ecotect and other software, we can even test a form and it's a material content, it can be tested as well. Because if you have to think in terms of sustainability of built form and space today, we have to look at the scientific way of analyzing both the built form, the material which is used to create the built form and the quality of space that we expect to have because of the built form. We get to know everything at the flick of our, you know, anything happens anywhere in the world today we come to know. Earlier, knowledge transmission was limited to limited areas. So I knew about materials in my area and we had expertise growing in that in a region. It was good in many ways because we could never be influenced by materials in far off lands. We had to make do and create the best possible space, spatial, spatial quality using materials which are available immediate in the environment and using indigenous technologies which are developing. But today, we can transport technologies, we can transport materials. So, uh, we don't care anymore whether that is like how many million tons of Italian marble we have brought into India. Am I right? Or marble or... So, is, we are not really looking at uh, the applicability or the real use of these materials from an alien land into our land. We don't know. And we, in that process, we forget what materials we have in our environment. We stop using whatever. We have, we have totally ignored the possibilities of uh, research and development of our own built environment using our own local materials. Today we have good, the history of good and bad, all like coexisting in any city, any settlement, anywhere in the world. There is no difference between Paris or Mumbai or there is no the character part is slowly shrinking, no? We can also say that we are going to become one world, one people, one language. Now this is we speak only one language, correct? To communicate we have only one language. Whose fault is it? We may say it's okay, good, okay, let's have only one language all over the world. Fine. But that also uh, destroys the fabric of what you call, what we call multiple cultures. That is gone. We are going to singular culture all over the world. 
it may be for good perhaps good for humanity we don't know but only time will tell architects never organize festivals for common people we organize festivals and uh, award giving ceremonies and exhibitions only for ourselves we have competitions for ourselves award giving ceremony we never i don't think we architects ever see that ours is a social art and craft ours is something which is related to the society have you ever seen society being invited to listen to architects yeah very few people yeah now this perhaps this is the way we are trying society is never part of they are invited to see building materials abhi ye kharido like building material exhibitions are thrown open uh, and thrown open to society but not the real issues of what we feel should be good environment we talk only among ourselves and we give awards to uh, one another you know that's all we are doing and so we i think we have to blame ourselves for not doing the right kind of outreach to the society even today if you ask an ordinary human being what do you think of an architect they feel that architect is expensive that is an image which we have created given the this development of new materials and new technologies and applications we need to switch from just being as that uh, you know architect with a halo around is that to you have to come down to as a become architectural engineer in the modern context i think we have to we should an architect is an engineer why can't an architect be an engineer only if we have that mindset that look i am an engineer i am an architect i am an engineer i understand structure i understand people society construction material science so an engineer so my had my had very simple approach to it the project had to be done the person has x budget should never cross that budget. that was always me and i was never uh, particular that you have to spend so much or it has to look good I never looked at project like that that the project has to look good no that person should be very happy with what he or she gets